What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing a Fampy team made by Robin VGC. I'll be sure to link them in the description below, so go check them out as well. Fampy is a really cute elephant Pokemon. Uh, and it, it's cute. Uh, it's unevolved, so it can have Eviolite. It has no good abilities, so it has Sand Veil. And it's cute! Like, look at it! He's a little elephant! If you don't love Fampy, I, get out of here. Just, I don't know, why'd you click on the video? This Fampy should be on the thumbnail somewhere. Uh, but anyways, the idea behind Fampy is it's a ground type that learns Ice Shard. So you're gonna Ice Shard into Maridon, which will trigger its weakness policy and let you Parabolic Charge without hurting your Fampy because it's a ground type. And then you can just heal up and do good damage and it's all great. As long as you rely on Maridon to do all the damage, it's fine. Fampy doesn't do much damage. Uh, it also has Helping Hand to boost Maridon's damage even further. Uh, protect just to not die to like fake out leads. And Bulldoze for a little bit of speed control. It does also hit your partner, but like just protect, Bulldoze, you get a speed control, it's fine. For the real speed control, we have a Whimsicott here. Pretty standard Sash set. But it's Terra Normal, which is fun. Uh, we've got an Iron Valiant with Booster Energy and Icy Wind. It, it's the Wide Guard Mon. I don't know. It's fine. Iron Moth is really cool though, because this Iron Moth is Life Orb with Acid Spray Heat Wave Energy Ball. If you put this next to Maridon instead of Fampy for some reason, which which is actually a pretty good combo, uh, your Quark Drive will boost your speed, allowing you to Acid Spray first and then pick up big damage with Maridon as, as a follow-up. Uh, and then there's also an Electric Seed for Rigoraph with Foul Play. Pretty good answer into Calyrex Ice. But anyways, I'm gonna try to use Fampy as much as I can, so please bear with me if I get a couple losses in this video. Uh, but I'm sure Fampy will be able to squeeze out a win or two here or there. Anyways, let's get on to it. Alright, we've got a Zamazenta. Ooh, they have Chandelure, let's go! Uh, I hope they win. And <laughs> they probably will, I'm bringing Fampy, let's be real. Uh, they have Rillaboom, Chen Pao, Galar Moltres, another thing I love, and Fluttermane. So how do I want to handle this? Um, Lamp is good except that it's walled by Chandelure. So I'm definitely bringing Lamp. They're gonna want to bring Rillaboom. Maybe I can do the, do the classic threaten them on both ends, force them to bring in Rillaboom. And then threaten it with my Lamp. I don't hate that. Obviously I'm bringing Fampy here. I want to get that weakness policy off. I can't do enough damage if I don't have that weakness policy boost. And then finally, I think, is it Galivore? It's gotta be something for the, if that thing has iron defense. What can I do about it? Do I have taunt? Do I have wide guard, wide guard's not that useful here. No, I need, I need encore. Encore might put me in a position to be able to shut down the Zamazenta and just give me a win con that way. Is it perfect? No. Oh, there's one shiny and one not. That was my first shiny in this game, was, was this a titan? They stand out, oh, it's shiny! It's a shiny chandelure! That's so cool. That's so cool. Too cool. All right. Do I heat wave anyway? Like, you're gonna wanna bring in Rillaboom, right? So I should heat wave anyway, right? And I can electro drift the Chandelure to do some big damage to that. Yeah, I think this is fine. Zamazenta just protected. All right, are you flash fire? Or are you Flame Body? Or are you the other thing? You are Flash Fire. Okay, that's fair. Hopefully Electro Drift does a lot. I mean, Chandelure is very squishy. Yeah, it did a lot of damage. And they said Trick Room! Okay! I'm happy to energy ball. Am I happy to double protect, bring in Fampy next turn? Because I don't want to switch in Elfun. I 
do want to bring in Fampy. No, I can just double protect this turn. There's no harm in it. Uh, I guess I could have energy balled the Chandelure double up, but that would be weird. Like, what if I just let Zamazen to do whatever it wanted? That wouldn't be good, right? It's a Shadow Ball into that slot. Okay, good to know. And just body press into there. Okay. Two big hits, but you're splitting your damage. Fampy, which one do you take better? Uh, it's equal stats. All right. So you take the Shadow Ball better. So we'll put you on the Shadow Ball. And we'll bring in Whimsicott on the Body Press, because that won't do much. Now, do you read this, or do you read a Terra, and do you switch over to Heat Wave? Because that would be devastating. If it's Heat Wave and Body Press into Whimsicott, ouch. But if Fampy can live this turn, it can take out Chandelure. Like, ah, don't worry about that. Oh, a Terra? Onto Zamazenta, defensively. Into Dragon. Alright, they're worried that I was gonna live and hit them back hard. That's fine. I probably was. I don't, I don't think either of those are gonna... Oh, they're switching it up. Shadow Ball into the Whim. Is that a double into that slot? Because that's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, you're life orbed. Bye. <laughs> and body. Okay, it is. A, it is a double up into Wim. It's fine. You didn't do anything for Wim to encore anyway. Uh, if you try to bring in Rillaboom here, I could actually bring in my Maridon right now. And because I'm actually slow. Oh, it's Moltres. Moltres. I don't care about Moltres. In fact, what's the scenario right now? Two turns of Trick Room left. Two turns of Terrain left. I could Bulldoze to proc my own weakness policy. And then Parabolic Charge. I don't hate that. And that should get me slower than Moltres, too. Samazenta should still move before me. But, like, it's not gonna Oko anybody. I hope. <laughs> and I hope Parabolic Charge is actually enough to take out Moltres. Though it could also be a slow Moltres, in which case it might still be fine to catch me. Oh, it is slow. Wow. That doesn't do anything, though. And Body Press will hurt. But we live! Just barely. Alright, let's get this healing. Woo! That's gonna be good healing. Bye, Moltres. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Zamazenta. First of all. And thank you, Moltres. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's juicy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could also now protect and do another bulldoze. Yeah. Protect and do another bulldoze to get them even slower. Uh, you're gonna be speed booster. So I'm never gonna catch that. But I could protect bulldoze here. I could take advantage of the fact that I'm faster than Fluttermane right now. Ice and Falter's pretty good into Fluttermane. Yeah, I think I'll go for another Bulldoze and a Protect. Just get the little speed control that I can. Uh, Fluttermane just protects. That's fine. That, that's... I thought you might. I mean, you're so fast and Trick Room's still up. So I was never going to get that off. But, uh, what are you going to go for? Just body press, huh? Well, now is the part where I Terra Fairy. And Helping Hand 
And maybe Parabolic Charge again. Terra Fairy to live whatever I want, and then... I guess I'm better off drifting the Fluttermane. I don't need any more health. As long as I can take both of these hits. Helping Hand. Terra. And I only need to take the Fluttermane hit because I'm faster than Zamazenta. Yeah, this is fine. Do I even Terra? I am worried that a Moonblast could take me out from here. So I'm going to do that. Okay. But yeah, Fluttermane shouldn't be able to protect successfully. You can get the Electro Drift into Fluttermane. Helping Hand plus two definitely should be enough. I've seen those go down from just having Electric Terrain on the field. Not even a Terra boost or an item boost. Wide Guard. Okay, glad I didn't go for Parabolic Charge. You were really holding on to that one. But yeah, Moonblast is gonna bounce right off. Awesome. Aw, oh, special attack drop. Come on! If that matters, I'm gonna be so mad. I don't think that matters. It matters? Okay, it's fine. Uh, I should be faster than Zamazenta. I was faster already, and I have an extra speed boost on them. Ice Shard they have not seen yet. Take out that Fluttermane. Come on, Fampy, get a KO. You got this, Fampy. You were gonna get that Chandelure KO, but uh, they didn't let you do that. Come on, you got this. You got this, Fampy. I believe in you. And they're not, they don't, they don't, they don't know they're out of it yet. They don't know about the Ice Shard. They're probably planning and scheming here. Ice Shard, goodbye. So long. And weird choice not to bring Rillaboom, but I appreciate it. Though a lot of my damage was done after Terrain was gone anyways. I'm not sure how much it mattered. GG's. That was fun, Fampy! Fampy, you did so much! You're amazing! GG's. Alright, we've got Ice Horse, Urshifu, Bolt, Rillaboom, Incent, Amoongus. <sighs> Yawn. Alright, uh, I think I'm most worried about a Fake Out plus Urshifu lead. Um, I guess I should also be a little bit worried about a Calyrex doing some damage. Um, my main answer to that would be, well I have my Electric Seed for Rigorath. Which can reverse Trick Room if they want to go that route. They don't look like hard Trick Room. Um, I definitely want... I think I'll just try this at the start, and then try to adapt. Farigraph seems good. Yeah, especially having foul play, that's really good. And then finally, I don't think I want this, uh, Galatevoir seems nice, but like... I'm wondering if it's either Galatevoir or Lamp. Do I want more damage? Into like, Bolts? I mean, both seem fine. This can punish Rillaboom a little bit better, and I guess Rillaboom is the scariest thing. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna go with the Moth. I'm not... <laughs> I mean, it should be okay. It's just a super meta Ice Horse, that's a good card, versus a Fampy. It, it's, it, it'll be alright. You know Fampy's got this, right? Fampy's got this. Oh yeah, it's just Urshifu Calyrex. Psh, this is fine. This is a-okay. I'm terrified. Alright, so we're gonna... Electro Drift the Calyrex and Ice Shard ourselves, right? Oh, we're pretty bulky. That's good. Does plus two electro drift do it? Do I want a parabolic charge? I kind of want a parabolic charge, because I'm worried about what might happen here. 
I'm gonna Ice Shard and Parabolic Charge. Calyrex does protect, okay. That's good. I made the right call. All right, we got the Ice Shard going off. Uh, Urshifu could be going for coaching. It could be going for Surging Strikes into Fampy. It could be going for Close Combat into Rhydon. It could be you turning out into their Rillaboom. They're just taking out Fampy. Fampy has done its job. That is actually okay. <laughs> I don't know why you're targeting down Fampy like that. Oh man, <laughs> poor little guy. Oh, uh, well Fampy, that's uh... I guess it couldn't be much better than that, right? And we know you're Scarf, so you should go down to this. Bringing me all the way back up to full. I'm guessing you would want to bring in Rillaboom next. So I want to bring in my fire type right away. And then I could even bait something and like swap it back out into Ferrigarath. Though foul play right now could be nice. You know what? No, I do like Ferrigarath because they can send out Rillaboom all they want. But now they can't go for Fake Out and I can double into your Calyrex. Plus I get my defense boost on the Giraffe. Oh yeah, this is great. I don't mind this at all. And who, who are who are your swappings? Who can switch into this? I guess you got Bolt, which can take a foul play, but it wouldn't like a Dragon Pulse. So maybe actually I throw Dragon Pulse that way. And a foul play. Yeah, I like that. I like that play. They swap it, but who's gonna take both of these? A Moongus probably takes it best. There there's a Moongus. Surprising I'm surprised to not see Bolt, but I guess a Moongus makes sense. I would like to take you out though. Bye. No, no, you'll take foul play from here. You turning out, thank you for the defense boost, Maridon. And I also have Psychic Noise, so I can take out that Amoongus with that if I want. How much does that do? Not a whole lot. Oh, what's your item? You must be Mental Herb. I guess. Alright, Calyrex is a little scary. I'm gonna Terra now. The problem is I have to cover Amoongus. Can't let Amoongus just start sporing for free. I'm gonna Terra Electro Drift Calyrex, but I'm gonna throw a Psychic Noise in Amoongus. Yeah, because I, as badly as I want to double Calyrex, because my biggest fear is they like protect Amoongus and set up Trick Room. But if I have that fear, then you know, they could also redirect Maridon's move here and then I just Psychic Noise their Calyrex. But that's not the worst thing in the world. They are going to Terra Calyrex, that doesn't surprise me. You see the foul play, you see the potential for Electro Drift. Okay, you don't care about Electro Drift, you're doing that for foul play. Which means you probably redirect here. Rage Powder? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Um, your Terra actually makes Psychic Noise do more, plus you can't heal anymore, which is great. Problem is, now I... I mean, you could Glacial Lance here, but I think it would be a Trick Room. I don't know, let's see. How Does this do good damage for once? No, not really. That wasn't that great. But it does block the healing, so it's permanent damage. So now, you've just got Rillaboom. Doubling into Maridon would be so easy. How's that terrain looking? Lots of terrain left. I mean, I kinda have to attack with both. One of these will do big damage to Calyrex, right? Because I'm afraid of them doubling into either slot. I feel like the double into Maridon is too obvious. And so they, they'll be like, oh no, Frigraph's gonna reverse my Trick Room, oh no. So I'm gonna Electro Drift and try to reverse your Trick Room. 
You're gonna have to let me do one of these. Alright, Glacial Lance. Doesn't take out anybody. Woodhammer, I guess. Into Farigarath. Makes sense. Now let's see what a plus two Electro Drift can do. Hopefully it's enough. Maybe I should have gone for Parabolic Charge there, just to heal up. I don't know. Oh, that's not enough. Hmm. Am I going to be able to take a Lance with my Merida? I don't know. Uh, one more turn of healing and I should. So actually, if I double protect, I might be in a good position. If Rillaboom has high horsepower, no, then Maridon can take a hit. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. I need to protect both to get a little bit more healing on Maridon. Then I should be out of Glacial Lance range, meaning they have to double Maridon. And then the Moth might be able to take them both out. Calyrex goes for high horsepower. Which means wood hammer into Maridon? Hmm. I don't think I, I don't know if I can take a wood hammer. I definitely can't take a high horsepower. Uh, last turn of grass, two turns of trick room. I need to take out Calyrex with something. Who's going to move first? 180, 178. So you will move first. That's good. I think I will go for Parabolic Charge. And I think I will go to Heat Wave. If they can take both of these out, then I can't win. Uh, high Horsepower connects. Yeah, that's going to be a KO. I have to take this Wood Hammer. And then I should be able to heal up nice and pretty if I take it. I, this is a very bulky Maridon. There's a chance. Oh, but it doesn't happen. All right, good good job, Maridon. You, you gave it your best. It's because they took out Fampy right away. Fampy was the real threat, and they knew it. Oh, man. All right, GG's. Oh, I just couldn't do enough damage. Good card, though. All right, we've got a Coridon, Raging Bolt, Chiyu Fluttermane, Tornadus, and Amoongus. Is that scary? Yeah. <laughs> That's very scary. Uh, versus Chiyu, Fluttermane. Lamp seems pretty good. They have Tornadus for their speed control. They might want to push that. They won't bring Amoongus because they don't have any terrain control and I have electric terrain. So I don't think... <clears throat> I don't think they would want to bring their Amoongus. I do think they would want to bring their Tornadus. So are they leaving Bolt behind? I could see Chiyu Fluttermane being something they go with, so I need to prepare for that. I think Maridon plus Lamp with the little elephant in the back could be fine. Get, maybe get into position to Ice Shard later, or just come in and be a helping hand bot. It's fine. Just a tanky little helping hand, but it's not like we have much bulk on the rest of this team. Um, you don't seem very useful. Is Galatevoir more useful than Whimsicott? Don't think so. I think Whimsicott is the most useful. Uh, we've got all of our damage up front and all of our support in the back. So, <laughs> let's not lose our front two Pokemon on turn one, okay? Think you think we can handle that? And that's a decent card. Cool. Is that a shiny? I think so. I think that's the shiny form. Alright. Chiyu and Tornadus. Cool. Love that. That's great. I, I don't mind this at all. Like, sure, Chiyu wants to do big damage, but like, so do I.
Maybe even Parabolic Charge Protect. Maybe Parabolic Charge bring in Fampy? Because they're going to Tailwind and then move first. I don't hate Parabolic Charge. The question is whether I want to save my Moth for later. Let's protect it now. I'm going to bring in Fampy. I'm doing it. That gives me more options next turn if I want to like Parabolic Charge again and do something. And if like Torn is Sash, I can pick that off with an Ice Shard. I don't hate this. Let's see, what, what are you going for here? Snarl? Fine. I'll take the special attack drop, it's alright. I can get that back and then some later. Oh, I did not do much damage after that drop, huh? So you had its energy drained, and Tornadus had its energy drained. Nice. Parabolic Charge Ice Shard, maybe? Just to get my stats back? Or do I save the weakness policy and just go for like a helping hand boost here? Maybe I leave Torn in, Electro Drift. And helping hand. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Torn isn't like particularly threatening at the moment. you is going before Torn. That might be Scarf. Air Slash? No! Fa oh, Fampy's okay. <laughs> Fampy's fine. Fampy's fine. Don't worry about Fampy. Fampy can handle itself. Goodbye, Chiyu. You were very annoying, but I can just swap out to get rid of everything you've done. Question now is who you go into, because you've got some scary Pokemon left. Who is this? That is a Koridon. Very scary Pokemon. I'm at minus two. I think I want to bring in Alphun and... Do I think Ice Shard can take out Tornadus? Probably not. I'm gonna try it. Cause I just wanna I just wanna see what Koridon's gonna do. Is it gonna Terra? Is it does it have a dragon move? It seems pretty confident. Is it just okay, it is gonna Terra. I assume that's the Koridon, yeah. Into fire. Okay, is this just normal stuff? Are you just gonna like flame charge? It's Iron Moth walls both of your stabs now, like other, if you don't have a dragon move. Alright, that does not do enough to Dorn. Oh, uh, and here comes a Flare Blitz! Into Whimsicott? Great! Eat all that recoil. For basically nothing. And where's the Air Slash gonna go, Fampy? No! Okay. Well, that's fine. Flare Blitz Air Slash was your plan, huh? You think that takes out a Maridon? I don't know. Last turn of Tailwind, gotta take that thing out. Parabolic Charge. And I think I'd rather Helping Hand. What's my Terra, Ghost? That doesn't matter. I don't want the Ice Shard chip to put me into range of anything here. Okay, they're only attacking with Koridon. Fine. Oh, a Protect from Bull. I see. 
Well, now you have to put Tailwind back up. So you're not going to have enough damage. Is it possible me to stall out the sun here? Uh, last turn of terrain, I should take advantage of that. Now I'm willing to Parabolic Charge and Ice Shard. Yeah, I, th I think that'll be fine. Because you have to Tailwind, you can no longer double into my Maridon here. And I'm pretty sure at 139 HP I should be able to take a Flare Blitz. This Maridon is quite bulky. I may look low health, but I'm not low health. Unless you have a dragon move that you've been hiding this whole time. Just Flare Blitz. Which we eat! 16 HP, let's go! And with that recoil, you're not going to take this Parabolic Charge, I don't think. Maybe you do. But you don't. Alright. Let's heal all that back up. Oh, it was a crit on the Koridon. I don't think that was necessary, but it's nice. I don't mind it. Alright, now show me the thing you have in the back that was a secret this whole time and that you're gonna sweep me with. Uh, my terrain is running out. Who do you have left? Who would be most threatening? That's who you have left. <laughs> Fluttermane would probably lose to my Maw. That looks like Fluttermane. Is that Fluttermane? That's Fluttermane. Fluttermane! Speed boost in the sun. Three whole turns of Tailwind. Two whole turns of sun. I think I'm gonna go for a Protect Bulldoze play. Expecting Fampy to maybe go down. If Fampy goes down, Fampy goes down a soldier. Because this could be a Dazzling Gleam, or it could be a... Ah, they're locking into Shadow Ball. They're choiced. Oh, they are so choiced. That is a choice specs on that Fluttermane, 100%. You've got to be choice there. That's the only way reason you would lock Shadow Ball. I'm gonna go for an Electro Drift. And I'm gonna go for another Bulldoze. Battle's just cancelled, they know it's gone. You, you know you can't handle Fampy, let's go! <laughs> Alright, we've got, oh okay, it's Kyogre plus Wochien. Uh, they also have the Grimmsnarl, Incineroar, Urshifu, and what is that? Iron Jugulus? Yeah, that's what it's called. No terrain control is great, so Maridon can go crazy. Uh, they do have Fake Out plus Urshifu as a combo. Though usually on these teams, the Kyogre's kind of slow. They do have a, a potential for speed control of, with a Tailwind of their own. I don't know if this is an, the exact team that was used in that one regional, or was that NAIC? I don't remember where this was used. I don't know the exact team. I don't know if it was those six. It might be. I think I need my Whimsicott, though. To just match Tailwinds if things aren't going my way. And then finally... Who's the right last? Lamp probably doesn't do nothing unless I save Terra for it. Galatevoir does... Not much for me other than Wide Guard. Don't need Foul Play, don't need Psychic Noise. I think it's Lamp. I'm gonna go with Lamp. I think Lamp is fine here. Uh, I do have to watch out for their water types, if that is Water Urshifu. Uh, but I could save Terra, maybe. I didn't plan on tearing Maridon, at least not right away. Uh, no Trainer card, hmm. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what on that team I would really need to Terra it in front of, unless they just want to spam Ice Beam or something. Little Grimstall, the one thing that hits me super effective with that. Okay. I think this is probably fine. Uh, just an Ice Shard and Parabolic Charge heal up. I, th I think that works. Parabolic Charge, Ice Shard. Just get the boosts right now, and then hopefully get through this light screen eventually. Uh, I assume you're either going for a Snarl or Tailwind. Ice Shard will go first. We now know that Grim Snarl is faster than Fampy. I don't know Fampy's base speed. Maybe I should. I should have probably looked up Fampy's stats before this. I don't know. I just assume it's going to go slow and not take hits very well. Oh no, a special attack drop. That is annoying, but like, I got a boost, so... I'm still in the positive here. Ooh, and we don't take that out. Okay. Well now I'm gonna go ahead and... I could protect Tailwind. I mean, I could protect bring in my Tailwind. Or, I could do something funnier, protect, start chipping you down with Ice Shard. I think that's funnier. I don't know if it KOs from here. Uh, I assume this Fampy, uh, let me look. This Fampy is a minus attack nature. Ice Shard's not here to do damage, but like, if it works... Oh, they swap. Who's gonna take this Ice Shard? Alright, big damage, Fampy. Oh, you got this! It's super effective! Ignore those tablets of ruin. I don't- I don't care about that. Yeah! Oh, whoa, hang on. Oh, that's a crit. Okay, I was like, why did that do damage? <laughs> Fampy, you're a beast! Alright, so bringing in Whimsicott was not necessary. Good. Uh, maybe I should get some more momentum. Maybe I should try to take out Grimmsnarl. I want to Electro Drift the Grimmsnarl. Do I think I need a helping hand to get it? Maybe. Uh, we have Terrain. I don't think I need it. Got Light Screen. I think from here, based on how much Parabolic Charge did, I think we're good. I think Electro Drift can take Grimmsnarl, and I'm gonna get in to Eisenfalter. The Iron Moth. Because that'll actually threaten something. I'm sure they have Kyogre in the back, right? Kyogre teams do like to not bring Kyogre for some reason against me. Uh, just to protect. Are you scared of an Ice Shard? The Ice Shard do a little bit too much damage to you? They're still not setting up Reflect. They're not They're not worried about Fampy. I don't know what that one's about. Bye, Grimmsnarl. I never wanted to get Spirit Broked by you. Spirit Braked? Spirited Broken. That's how it is. And I, mean, I guess you have Leftovers, so you're back to full. Fampy did nothing. Great. It's okay, I can bring Fampy back later for some speed control with Bulldoze or something. And there's Kyogre. Cool. Don't care. I'm going to... What was the Terra on that team? Do I know? Did someone I know use this team? I don't know. I think they might have changed stuff anyway. I'm gonna go for... Dragon Pulse? and Terra Energy Ball into the Kyogre. I feel like that combo should do some good damage, even if they Terra. Because Terra Energy Ball will rip really good damage if they stay a water type. But if they're scared out of water typing into like grass or dragon, Dragon Pulse will do some good damage. Yeah, and they are gonna Terra. I guess it could be the Wochien, but it's not. It is grass. Okay. Well, I should do good damage. I don't know if this combo KOs, though. But at least I'm a grass type now, so you're not going to do that much damage to me. 
Oh, plus light screen up. I'm not. I'm definitely not KOing you. Oh goodness. Oh, I should have been acid spray. Wouldn't. Oh, that wouldn't have done it. <laughs> Just heal up. Okay. Into a big water spout, which does a lot of damage. Yikes. How's this electric terrain? Last turn, huh? All right. To go I need to hit the Kyogre with an Acid Spray. But I think I'll Dragon Pulse the other slot. Ah, I was so worried about Wochian protecting. Maybe too worried. How much does this do anyway? Oh, that's a good chunk. And then Ruination. Ooh. Okay. Into Ice Beam. Gotcha. I don't know, I think Water Spout was, would have been a fine play there. But now that you have been acided, sprayed... My electricity's gone, but that was just for my speed here anyway. I have like no damage left. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's not good. Let's go, Elephant! You can do some damage, right? You got this, right? Who's faster? 184, 170. Okay, we're faster with Elephant. I'm gonna just Moonblast Kyogre and protect. The next turn I can do bigger damage. I don't know. Are they just gonna pollen puff? Because this thing's unbreakable. But I got the special attack drop, which is awesome. Yeah, with that pollen puff, wow, this thing's unbreakable. I don't have the damage to beat that thing anymore. Okay, just an ice beam, that's fine. That's cool. How's this rain doing? Two whole turns, huh? All right. Find a switch Moonblast over into you and get out of here to Fampy. Sorry, Fampy. This is a sacrificial swap. Oh, man. I should have been going after that Wochien this whole time. This is, that, that, that's my bad. That's my bad. I should have been attacking this Wochien. Get rid of it. Maybe bring a physical attacker. Because that Kyogre behind light screen, I, I think it's a salt vest. Oh, boy. I mean, my only physical attacker is Iron Valiant. That's decent damage. I like that damage. Pollen Puff is just a waste. Ice Beam. No, Fampy, you can take this. It's a minus one. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna Moonblast. I'm gonna try to Helping Hand. I'm gonna try to do as much damage as I can to that Wo Uh They're probably gonna try to get Kyogre out now, if I had to guess. No reason to keep that special defense drop around. Yep, they're gone. And then do you just protect Wo Chien though? That's my question. Uh, and your booster energy, that makes sense. I set the terrain for you earlier. Helping hand goes before protect. Vampy, come on, you got this. Ah, oh, they protect. And I can't encore them either, because they are a dark type. And I have Prankster. How's that light screen do? Oh, there it goes. There we go. Now we're talking.
I think I want Moonblast and Ice Shard. Hopefully this Ice Shard can do enough. Based on how much it did to Wo Chien, it might, but Wo Chien's on the field right now, meaning it's reduced. Ah, uh, that wasn't gonna do it anyway. Oh, uh, they're gonna Tailwind. Okay. And break my Sash, that's fine. And you're out of here, cool. Kyogre versus mm, stuff that cannot handle Kyogre. Is there any way I win this? I'm gonna start with a Protect on both. Stall out a little bit of their Tailwind. I mean, I could just put my Tailwind up eventually. See what they're locking into, though. Because they might have to pick a move, and then I can Encore it. A hurricane over there. Okay, so you're not concerned about the Ice Shard, then. And Water Spout. Alright, the Tailwind situation is two turns, which is fine. Encore you. Ice Shard you. Which you see coming and protect. Um, now how do I win? I can't win now. Not if Water Spout KOs Whimsicott, which it probably should. Ah! They're just playing better than me! No! Bambi! No! Watch out! Dodge it! Ooh! Pretty rainbow, though. I'm sorry! They took out Elfun and the elephant. Alright, what I was gonna say is that that... Jugulus was gone. Then I could stall out the last turn of Tailwind and hit them before they water spout, but now I have to get out of here. Nothing I can do. Even if I protected the last turn of Tailwind, they could just set it right back up. GG's. Alright, here we've got... That's a cool team! Alright, they got Zamazenta. Uh, they have Rillaboom and Grass Ogre Pond. They have Pelipper Kingdra. And they have a Ferrigera. Well, that's cool, uh, but also not, because my electric terrain gets cancelled. That's really your only mar good Maridon answer, is your Rillaboom. What's my answer to rain? Uh, Maridon, I guess. Okay. What do we got here? Encore's not gonna be that useful. Need a way to take out Rillaboom don't have a great way, because, like, my fire type is going to get severely weakened in the rain. Are you still faster if they change the turn? 178. 180. Nope. Okay. Back Maridon. Back Fampy. Front should be... Could probably do some stuff with Lamp. And is Galivar any good here? Maybe I do want Maridon in front. Yeah, I'm gonna put Maridon in front just to scare in the Rillaboom. Force the Rillaboom onto the field so I can hit it with Heat Wave. And then if they want to get Pelipper on the field to protect the Rillaboom, they're going to have to take an electric move coming in. So, so who's that guy? <laughs> so yeah, no, I think these two, they have really good synergy in that way. It's hard to switch into them. Oh, they just put Rillaboom in the front. Okay. Well, you really don't want to get Heat Wave, so you better watch out. You gonna bring Pelipper in on either slot, maybe? 
because I feel pretty safe going for Heat Wave and Electro Drifting their Zamazenta. No way are you going to appreciate both of those. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be real careful who you swap where. Heat Wave. I guess one thing they could do is Terra the Rillaboom high horsepower. That would be scary. But I'm just gonna Heat Wave. Am I gonna Terra Grass this anyway? I resist body press right now. I think I'm willing to take the risk. I think I need to abuse the pressure I've put on. If it's Terrifier High Horsepower, basically GG, I guess. Okay, no, it's a fake out. That's fine. Damage onto Zamazenta is not something I hate. <laughs> That's not damage onto Zamazenta, though. <laughs> uh, we are faster than Zamazenta. That's good. And, whew, that hurt. I think I want to get Maridon out, maybe into Fampy. I will just go for a Heat Wave. Cause I, I want to take Terrain Control, I want to not get Body Pressed before I can even do anything. Because I'm also trying to scout out their Terra here. Okay, there's where the Pelipper's coming in. C could I have read that? Is that Pelipper? Yeah, it's Pelipper. I, I guess maybe I could have read that, but I would have lost my Maridon in the process. That's good Heat Wave damage. I will take that damage. And they're gonna set up Iron Defenses. Okay. I think this is a Terragrass energy ball. With Life Orb, that probably KOs. And do I bring Maridon back in? Or do I go into Elfun? I like going into Elfun. It's, it's pretty safe. It saves the Fampy. I'm pretty sure a terrain-boosted Terragrass energy ball with Life Orb should take out Pelipper. And I don't know if they'll see that coming. Uh, I'm a little bit worried that they just go for a body press into the boss because because of Terra, they should be able to KO me now. I think I could have lived a plus three body press before I dropped my poison typing. If this is a trade, it's not the happiest trade in the world. They didn't even go for wide guard. I mean, they could have just heat waved again. Okay, get out of here. Now, make a mistake. Use Iron Defense again, or something. It's just, oh, it's Body Press right into the, oh, ow. That hurt. All right, my ways of dealing with Rillaboom are now a little limited. I think Terra Ghost Fampy is pretty funny here, though. Oh, it's shiny! I didn't notice! Uh, oh, and it's Kingdra! Okay! Wait, did I already Terra? Whoops, I did! <laughs> Alright, uh, Fampy, what do you think you can do here? You think you could do something for us here? Yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, let's double protect and get them to make a mistake. And also stall out some of this rain. If I can get them to make a mistake and encore them into it, that would be fantastic. Muddy water. Not exactly a throw, but something I could lock you into if I don't want you KOing my Marinon. 
And then body press into Vampy. Oh no. What's my way out of this? Grass is almost out. Rain is running out, honestly. A tailwind for sure. I don't bulldoze. I don't want to break my own sash. Helping hand does nothing. I'll go for a double protect on Pampy. No. Ice Shard, Tailwind. Come on, Fampy. <laughs> I need you to Oko this uh, little guy here with that Ice Shard real quick. Thank you very much. Ah, so close. So close. Let's see, Muddy Water, you can take that, right? Oh, you can! You can take that. That's awesome. <laughs> Good job, Fampy. <laughs> You took both those hits so that I didn't have to on Whimsicott. Our grass is gone, but they'll put it right back as soon as I bring in and show them Maridon. Um, I should be faster than Kingdra. But I'm in KO range from either. So I have to call which slot swaps. They don't want to swap their Zamazenta. They're going to leave Zamazenta in. Yeah, that, that's what they have to do. They have to swap Kingdra and try to body press, and I have to call that and double into them. There it is. Good. Okay, show me it's not a... I mean, if it's a protect, that's great. I can Encore lock you. Uh, unless you fake out the elf on that turn. But that's risky. You would fake out Maridon for sure. Okay, it's not a protect. Show me that's Electro Drift range, please. Please. Please be in range. Come on. Oh, that's not even close. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow! <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, nothing to do now, except, uh, die? Alright, GG's. Alright, we're back. And Fampy, I'm impressed. I am impressed by this Fampy. With Eevee Light, it was actually taking some hits. I did not expect it to. This Ice Shard gimmick is super fun. Uh, I do think Rillaboom is a little bit too common. Uh, and only having Iron Moth to handle it is mm, not the best. I would, I haven't used Iron Valiant like at all. I would probably like to have it be something that can handle Rillabooms, but otherwise this team is so much fun. Uh, if you like dopey little elephant guy, uh, go ahead and leave a like on my video, subscribe to my channel, uh, go check out Robin VGC as well, they're in the description, go subscribe to their channel. Uh, and anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.